Colleen, with the conclusion of this trial, what we witnessed inside and outside of that Van Nuys courtroom is the impact on two separate families. As Rebecca Grossman was led away in handcuffs, possibly never going home again, she turned to her children in tears and tried to assure them that she will be all right. Meantime, a family is still dealing with the loss and the trauma three years later, still trying to help another son who was only five years old when he witnessed what happened to his two older brothers or what his mother posted tonight on social media saying she will tell him your brothers were murdered. They were murdered in front of your eyes. 11-year-old Mark Iskander was on a skateboard, his eight-year-old brother Jacob wearing inline skates. They were with their mother in this Westlake Village crosswalk when their lives ended on September 29th, 2020. Mark and Jacob didn't die. Mark and Jacob were murdered. That's how I'll be thinking tonight as I go to bed. A jury has determined the woman behind the wheel of a Mercedes SUV that struck them is responsible. 60-year-old Rebecca Grossman, the co-founder of the Grossman Burn Center. The facts were just horrific. She had Valium and alcohol in her system. She then drove another third of a mile away, and the only reason her car stopped is because its safety features stopped the car. And so all of these facts added up to cause the jury to say, obviously, this isn't just manslaughter, it is murder in the second degree. Attorneys for Rebecca Grossman argued it was former Dodgers pitcher Scott Erickson who hit the boys with his Mercedes. Erickson has denied all wrongdoing. A jury apparently didn't buy it. Nine men and three women taking just nine hours to reach a verdict. Thank you for not falling into the imaginary conspiracy theories and tricks that the defense team were, uh, you know, executing. When the verdict was read in a courtroom where cameras were not allowed, Rebecca Grossman's daughter screamed and cried. As her mother was led away, her daughter said over and over again, Mom, I love you. I promise I do not have any hate for her. Um, my heart broke for her children. I'm a mother, you know, and so it, it wasn't easy, but it will bring me closure. Legally, this may not be over yet. Tonight, we received this statement from the Iskander family. This horrific tragedy was 100 percent preventable and we will continue to pursue the case civilly to ensure that this never happens again to another family and civilly would mean suing for financial damages. Rebecca Grossman remains free throughout the trial on a two million dollar bond. She remains in custody tonight and is facing 34 years to life in state prison when she is sentenced in April. We're going to leave you right now with this video that we have just received tonight. Fresh flowers have been left at the Westlake Village intersection where two young brothers were killed and are not forgotten.